All right, so now that you've got your mill, uh, everything should be set up ahead of time. We're gonna make sure we're gonna check the belt tension. We're gonna check the test run and make sure everything's running properly. So you should be good if you're getting it set up brand new. Uh, but if you find yourself in a situation where you wanna check belt tension uh, or you need to tighten or loosen the belt tension, uh, some of the things that you're gonna need are the, the pulley alignment straight edge for checking the pulley alignment. Make sure it's right. Uh, you're gonna need a tape measure to measure your span length, and then you're gonna need your belt tension tester. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pulley alignment straight edge, we're gonna line it up, put it up against our pulley, and make sure that the motor pulley and your uh, drive pulley is on the, on the rolls that they're lined up. That one's good. That one's good. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna look at your drive here and you're gonna find which area, which uh, span here is the longest. So this one here is gonna be our longest span. And you're gonna take your tape measure and you're gonna measure what that span is. This one we're at about 20 inches. So we're gonna take our handy dandy belt tension tester and we're gonna find the spot where it says inches of span length. And you're gonna set that for, for 20. You're gonna make sure that this ring here, this little rubber, ring is up against the flat piece. And you're going to go to your belts and find the center of that belt span. And you're going to take your belt tension tester, put it up against one belt, and you're going to push until this black ring meets up with your other belt. So push that until it meets that. And then you're going to look at your belt tension tester and see how many pounds uh, your belt tension is what it's at. Uh, this one is should be about three pounds, so we're we're good there. If you do need to uh, either either increase the belt tension or decrease the belt tension, what you're going to do is loosen up these four bolts on this motor mount, and then you're going to come to the back and use an inch and a half wrench or socket to rotate these uh, motor bolts on that are connected to the motor mount. So if you need to increase the belt tension, you're gonna to wanna to pull it back. If you want to uh, decrease the tension, then naturally you move it forward. And then after you make your adjustment, take your belt tension tester, retest it, and then just kinda of keep doing that until you uh, hit what you're, what you're trying to go for. Um, and then after you get your belt tension, if it's the first time that you're setting up your mill, you wanna make sure that the motor rotation is going in the right direction. If you have it already set up and you just had to make some adjustments for one reason or another, then you probably don't have to do this, but uh, make sure that you take a look at that motor pulley and there's an arrow on here that should tell you which way that motor should spin. So if it, that, if it happens to not have that sticker, if it falls off or something, um, you can look at your rolls and they should always be spinning in towards each other. So this one here would spin that way towards the other roll and vice versa. This side should be spinning backwards towards this roll. So after you get that all set up, you should be good to go.